Hi everyone, Pastor Roger Henriksen on the Standing Firm with Pastor Roger Henriksen page. I just want to share a few thanks tonight. I actually was trying to do a podcast, but we're having some issues with our podcast equipment. And so I just want to jump on tonight and just share a few things. I'll put this on our YouTube page. And I uh, just want to share some things that's going on uh, since we started doing this message series in in church uh, starting a few months ago. We've been talking about witchcraft, demons, evil spirits, and deliverance. Just want to share some things that I've been noticing as people uh, like you have been reaching out to us, uh, messaging us, and sharing some stories and stuff. I just want to uh, reflect on some of the things and share with you um, some of those things so you know uh, if you're going through the same thing that uh, you're not alone. Uh, hopefully this will encourage uh, people to understand that whenever you're going through these battles in, the, in your life, that you have other people right there with you going through the same thing. So I just want to encourage you in this way. I just want to say, first of all, I've noticed, you know, any time it seems like when I start talking about the spiritual warfare and how Satan fights, we, we sure have a lot of problems with our technology stuff. Our computer doesn't work right. Our uh, podcast equipment kind of starts messing up. When I talk to people uh, on the phone, uh, it cuts out, it cuts off, we lose connection, uh, echo, I mean, just all kinds of things. And so I came up to the church tonight because I wanted to do this podcast and share with you some of the things that have taken place uh, since we started doing that message series and since the podcast equipment was cutting out um, and wasn't working correctly, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to make a video and post this on uh, YouTube, and I'm still going to make sure that I get this word out. I will do a podcast with this same subject at another time, but I'm not going to let the enemy keep me from getting these things out for you to hear. I want to just say, ever since we started doing this uh, message series on witchcraft, the Lord has really opened my eyes to the spiritual realm of evil. You know, I've spoke many times on spiritual warfare, on Satan, fighting the enemy, and these types of things. But what I'm talking about right now is something more deep than that. The Lord's really gotten me digging deep into these things. Uh, witchcraft. I never really paid much attention to witchcraft, but I want to tell you something. When the Lord put this on my heart to do this, my eyes have been really opened up to what's truly happening around us when it comes to witchcraft. Witchcraft right now is one of the quickest growing religions in our nation. I also find it amazing that right now they just put a poll out and said 81% of adults in America believe in God. That is 6% lower than it was in 2017. 81% of adults right now is the lowest it's ever been in our nation. Right now is is the lowest amount of people as adults uh, that believe in God. It's the lowest it's ever been. And yet witchcraft is becoming one of the quickest growing religions. They call it religions uh, in our nation. This is concerning. Right now, Satan is using this witchcraft to deceive our children into this evil. I want to say that witchcraft is evil, it's demonic, it's of Satan, and it's robbing our children from us. I want to talk about some of the things that I see going on around our nation right now. Uh, one thing that I've noticed talking about our children and how Satan is trying to take our children from us, one thing that I noticed lately is how during Gay Pride Month in June, I just noticed a, a bar down in Texas had children go into this bar as transgenders danced in front of them as they lined bar stools up in a row and had these children, I'm talking like elementary school aged children, sitting in these bar stools and these transgenders were sexually dancing in front of them and the parents were giving these kids dollar bills to hand to these dancers. I'm telling you right now, I am telling you that the enemy is going after our children conditioning our children to think this way. It is evil. It is demonic. And Satan is going after our children right now. 
you can see it as clear as day. And I'm telling you right now that if we are truly Christian, if we are the body of Christ, we better be fighting for our children. We better be fighting for this nation because right now we are going down a road that's going to take us down to a place we don't want to be. Let's just put it that way. It's going to be a place we don't want to be. We better turn this nation back over to God and we better do it quickly. Uh, I want to share some things. I want you to know, um, since we started doing this message series on witchcraft, the Lord has also had me start a ministry that's called a deliverance ministry. And I want to say that several of you have began to message me and reach out to me. And I want to just say to you that, first of all, here's some things that I have learned and some things I have noticed since this has taken place. Number one, I want to say that many of you have reached out to me to do a deliverance ministry. And I want to tell you that every single one of you, every single one of you that have reached out to me uh, to do this deliverance ministry, every single one of you have told me that you have ties to witchcraft in your family. Now, I will also say this, that many of you that have reached out to us and talked uh, to us, and when I say us, I, I want you to know that whenever you email the church, I personally respond to those. I personally answer those. I personally talk to each of you one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so when you reach out and speak to me personally, I want you to know that even if you don't bring up the fact that your family has been in witchcraft, whether it is your mom, your grandparents, your great parents, somewhere along the line, every single one of you have told me that there has been witchcraft in the family. Many of you have told me how either your mother or your grandmother have put curses on you as a child while you were growing up and and they were involved in this witchcraft. Now, some of you that have reached out just in our conversation as we talked on the phone, I have just brought up witchcraft just in conversation, and I find it amazing how even when you don't bring it up, and I do, every single one of you have said, oh my gosh, uh, yeah my grandparent or my mother was in witchcraft or you say yes my mom is a witch and maybe some of them are even still practicing today i want i want you to know that every single one of you that have reached out are fighting the same battle and i want to tell you something right now satan is fighting people it seems like overtime right now. I'm telling you, Satan is fighting people right now in their personal lives, and I want you to know that you're not alone. I want you to know that many of you that have reached out and wanted to schedule a deliverance, a deliverance ministry meeting, that a lot of you have reached out, but you know what? Those meetings never took place. Why? Because things came up. I want to tell you, every single one of you, that have talked to me about doing the deliverance ministry. Every single one of you, something has come up to keep you from doing that, to keep you from scheduling that meeting. And I want to tell you right now, if this is you, I want to tell you that we need to schedule that and we need to get it going right now because as long as we let Satan come in and keep us from doing that, then he's going to continue to fight, continue to keep you from scheduling that. Things are going to keep popping up. Things are going to keep happening. I want to tell you that God wants to deliver you of this stuff. God wants to deliver you of the bondage that you find yourself in. Uh, God wants to deliver you of health issues. He wants to deliver you of addiction. He wants to deliver you of these things that keep you bound up. And as long as we let Satan keep coming and fighting us and bringing stuff up to keep us from moving forward with that, he will continue to do that so that he can keep you bound up the way that you are right now. So let me just say to you that Satan is fighting you. And I know Satan is fighting you. I, I'm telling you what, everybody that I'm talking to right now, 
from those who are reaching out because of this ministry that we've started, because of uh, this message series that we're doing. Many of you are reaching out, and I want to tell you something. It's the same thing over and over that I hear. You guys are, you guys are in a spiritual warfare, and we all are. Let me tell you something. We all are. If you're, if you're a Christian wanting to serve God, you are in a spiritual warfare. If you are reaching out to go through a deliverance uh, ministry meeting where we come together and what we, what we can do is we will connect on either Facebook. We will uh, do friend requests and we can do a FaceTime together. We can, if you have an iPhone, we can do a face-to-face a -face, uh, meeting. But I just want to say that every single one of you, because I want you to know it's not just you. It's every single person that have reached out. It's the same story. I want you to know that Satan is fighting. He is fighting like crazy to keep you bound up and keep you where you are right now. And, I, and I'm telling you, it is nothing more than Satan. You know, Ephesians chapter 6 tells us, to stand firm in our faith. This is where I came up with the name of my personal ministry, Standing Firm with Pastor Roger Hendrickson. Standing Firm comes from the scriptures in Ephesians chapter 6. And there's some other places throughout the Bible that it says to stand firm. But in Ephesians chapter 6, it tells us to stand firm against the wiles of the devil. The wiles of the devil are schemes, plots, tricks, anything that Satan can come up with to keep you from what God has for you. So that's why I'm telling you tonight. That's why I'm making this video, because I want you to know that you are fighting Satan. I'm telling you, and I know that Satan is fighting so hard right now. So many people, I mean, causing things to happen in your life, situations, chaos, problems, whatever it is, relationships, finances, whatever it is, uh, your job, whatever it is. I'm telling you, Satan right now is just working overtime to keep people down and discouraged and in bondage. So when you contact us and you say that you want to go through this deliverance ministry and you want to accept Christ into your life, I want to tell you, you better expect resistance at that time from Satan because anytime you make a decision to start walking with God, not only have you been in a battle with the enemy, you're going to find yourself in a bigger battle with the enemy because he's going to do everything he can to fight like hell to make sure that he keeps you in that bondage. So I want to say to you tonight that every single person that has contacted me, every single person is going through this spiritual warfare. And I'm telling you, Satan, I just see it everywhere in our nation. I see it in our nation. I see it with your uh, messages to me as I minister to people. And, and I'm not talking about just the people in our church. I'm talking about you, those who contact us from watching us from YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or whatever it might be, uh, our online ministries. You who reach out to us by messaging us or emailing us or whatever it is, uh, you that reach out to us, I want to tell you that when you reach out to us, I can't believe the resistance that Satan puts before every single one of you. And I'm telling you this tonight because I want you to know it's not just you. It's every single one of you. It's every single person that wants to come closer to God. Things come up, problems, fights, finances, whatever it is, it's everything Everything that Satan can get stirred up in your life, he's doing it because he wants to keep you in bondage. He wants to make sure that you do not get delivered the way that God wants to deliver you. I want to encourage you tonight to know that me on this side, talking to you, seeing what Satan is doing, and this is the whole reason I'm making this video. This is the whole reason I wanted to do a podcast and just get it out there and say, guys, listen, Satan is working overtime. Satan is deceiving people. He's fighting you. He's doing everything in his power to keep you where you're at. But I want to tell you something, that when you get on track with God, 
when you give your life to the Lord, when you go before God and you get delivered, I want to tell you, God wants to do some mighty things in your life. God wants to bless you. God wants to take care of you, and he will. But if you give up and give in to that resistance, then God can't do the things in your life that he wants to do. So let me encourage you to continue on. Keep fighting. Keep battling. When you notice these things, we have to remember, even though we might be having resistance from the enemy, we have to remember this one thing. Satan's already defeated. Satan's a coward. Satan has already lost the battle. He's fighting you, and he's trying to keep you in bondage, but the reality of it is he's already lost. And as long as we understand that, and know that through Jesus Christ, we have victory, that we can trample on serpents, and there's nothing that Satan can do to harm us and keep us because of the blood that was shed on Mount Calvary. And through that blood, we have victory and salvation, forgiveness of sin, that we are connected with God through Jesus Christ. And when we realize that and realize that all this stuff is, it's just a battle. It's just a, a purpose of Satan to try to keep us where we're at. It is a wild of the devil. It is a scheme. It is a plot. It is a deceitful lie. It is a lie from Satan himself. So I want to encourage you to know and understand that you're not the only one. I want you to know that right now the battle that you're going through, it seems like that you're the only one. And I know and I understand that. But I want you to know you're not the only one. Satan is fighting many people right now. Satan is fighting many people just like he's fighting you. And I want you to know that you can have victory over all that stuff that Satan is doing in your life. I want you to know right now that Satan, he is deceiving many people in our nation right now, in our world right now. We see all this stuff going on in our nation. And I'm telling you, just, just as clear with the, as God is putting before us, I can see it just as clear as day. This evil that Satan is doing in our nation, in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our lives. I want to tell you that Satan's his, his ultimate goal is to tear apart families. His ultimate goal is to tear apart relationships especially Christian homes. He does not want a Christian home to stay together. He will attack a Christian home any way that he can. Any way that he can get into your home, he'll do it. Maybe it's through jealousy. Maybe it's through finances. Uh, maybe it's through a job. Whatever it is, if Satan can get a foothold in your home, he will, and he will cause chaos. And he will cause issues and problems and fighting between the two of you, the family, all of you. Do not give in to it. Do not give in to this spiritual warfare that Satan is putting before you. Uh, I just, as I see all this stuff, you know, especially with our children, like I said, with this bar and the transgenders that were dancing in front of these children and the parents are giving them dollar bills. Uh, you know, it's just sickening. It's demonic. When I see uh, 